Welcome to another episode of Field Ready. Today we're going to do an unboxing and take a closer look at the Geode Sun Meter GPS Receiver by Juniper Systems. We're going to look at what's inside the box, take a tour around the product, and discuss some of the Geode's features. So let's take a look at our brand new Geode. So here's the box, it's a nice small box, looks good. Geode has a lithium ion battery in it, so there's a shipping label here, and uh, let's see on the back. Oh yeah, Juniper Systems. There's our address. And these are built right here in Logan, Utah, in the United States. Looks like someone put a packaging sticker there. Let's open it up, see what's inside. All right, well, there's the Geode. Got some protective foam around it. Move the box here. Right over here, and there it is. It's pretty small. All right, I'm going to set this over here and let's take a look what else is in the box and then we'll go into the details on the geode a little bit more. So put the foam aside. It says in accessories are enclosed. So there's something under here. Okay, looks like there's a quick start guide with some instructions. And let's see what we have. Oh, there's a charger. Ooh, really small charger. Oh, these are cool. So this is a USB charger. See right there, USB. And you just flip out the contacts like that. Nice and small, packs away easy. And let's see what else we have. Got some adapters. Looks like we have one for Europe, which cover most European countries. We have one here, it looks like Australia, New Zealand. And another one here, oh, yes, this is a uh, for UK. And I'll show you how these attach. You fold out the prongs, and this one will work in the United States, of course, most of North America, and will work in Japan. So we'll take the UK adapter and attach it and you just line up these little connections here, the hole right there, or I'm sorry, this way, and plug it in until it snaps and there you go. There's your adapter. All right, set that aside. And inside the box we also have, oh, there's our USB cable. Oh, this is for charging, it's also a communications cable. And if I recall in the instructions, it says you want to make sure to use this cable so that you get a full charge. Some of the really inexpensive USB cables that are out there, uh, they may not work as well. Set that aside. And then what we have here. Ah, yes. And it comes with an adapter. So this little adapter will connect to the bottom of the geode and it has a larger thread and this fits on pretty much all the survey, GIS, GPS poles that are out there that a lot of folks use. So this is cool. It comes with one of those in the box. All right, so the geode itself, like I said, it's really small. Uh, it is a real rugged design. I know they did drop tests on this. I know that, in fact, uh, weighs it's about a pound maybe a little less, right around there. Uh, but uh, it will float, actually float in water. Pretty easy to use, there's one button. And then uh, on the bottom, we've got uh, a couple different connection points. This thread in the middle, that's a quarter by 20 camera tripod thread. So that'll fit on camera tripods, monopods. Uh, there's even an adapter out there that you could mount on your shoulder. These two, inserts on the outside, those thread holes will fit pretty much every RAM mount adapter that's out there. So you can pretty much attach this to anything, depending on how you want to carry it. This one is a, uh, a version with the optional 9-pin serial port, uh, which is useful for some folks that are connected to the geode to other sensors like ground penetrating radar or sonar, things like that. And then up here in the uh, Upper left, there's a little window. It's got the serial number 
and it will have the part number on there too. And that's useful because when you connect to your Android phone or your iPhone or to your Windows device, and if you use the GeoConnect software, it will show the serial number of the geode you're connected to in the software. So you can make sure if you are using multiple devices that you're connected to the right one. Under here is uh, the port for the USB. That's where you charge it. It's also a data port. And then under here is a external antenna connector for optional antenna, external antenna if you need to use that. The geode is an all-in-one unit. The battery, the receiver, the antenna, everything is built right into the unit. But if you want to say mount it in a vehicle and put the antenna up on the roof of a truck or something like that so it doesn't get damaged, the receiver doesn't get damaged, you could do that. In the quick start guide, it tells you what the little features are, how the different uh, LEDs display. So we'll just see if we can turn it on here. Push the, oh, there you go. Push the button, turn it on, and off you go. So a little green light means it has power. And these ship partially charged. And all you need to do when you're going to first use it is plug it in, charge it up. The instructions say to charge it a full four hours, I believe. But all you need to do is wait until the charging light, which will be the second one, stops flashing. When it's connected to Bluetooth, of course, the blue light will come on. And then when you have a GPS position, the GPS light will flash. Okay, so a few more details about the geo. It has, a, I believe, it has 162 channels that it tracks, so it will pick up a lot of satellites. It's a single frequency receiver. It has carrier phase tracking, so that's why it's so accurate. It will receive GPS signals, receive, and if it's configured with the option for multi-GNSS, it will receive GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beto, uh, and of course it will obviously receive all of the SBAS satellites, depending upon what region you're in. It comes with a 1 hertz standard update rate, but you can be upgraded to selectable 2 to 10 hertz data output. And it's pretty much compatible with everything out there now. You can use it with Android devices, you can use it with Windows 10 or Windows Embedded Handheld devices. Uh, also now works with iPhone and iPad devices. That's a quick unboxing and look at the geode submeter GPS receiver by Juniper Systems. Thank you for joining us, and you're now field ready. Be sure to visit us on our website to learn more about the geode and other Juniper Systems products. There's a link in the description below.